yeah we ate out a lot this is where it gets hairy which left me in the negatives isn't that crazy and i honestly don't know how yeah that was really naive of me i feel like what happened was So there's that. Hey guys, welcome back for another budget with me. In today's video, I will be closing out my April 2023 budget. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so if you saw my April budget with me, I did it with pen and paper, but I'm like I said in my last video, I'm trying to move everything over digitally. So I transferred all my information from my paper copy to um, my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna pull up a screen record of it and then um, you folks can follow along with me that way. For those of you that are new, I work as a substitute teacher. I get paid once a month and the paycheck covers the first two weeks of the current month and the last two weeks of the previous month. So April's paycheck was very small because in March, um, the kids had spring break. If you look here, my paycheck for April was $16.80. Looking at my bills, you know I have my car loan minimum payment for 52 subscriptions 82 dollars this is like auto subscriptions um trash and recycling 26 dollars ymc which is our gym membership 76 dollars auto insurance 312 pest control which they come out quarterly 100 dollars now i get questions and comments about oh that's all you have in bills like you don't pay rent or you know electricity all that kind of stuff so my partner just and i we're not married we do live together he covers majority of the bills what i cover is that we share is um trash and recycling the gym membership auto insurance which i do pay to insure his vehicle as well pest control that's a shared bill you know we share like if we eat out he'll take the bill one time i'll take the bill another time or um you also see like in variables i do budget for our pets which is also a shared bill um what else oh yeah and then grocery shopping i do most of the cooking and i do most of the grocery shopping for our household so that is how we split up our bills in case you're wondering in case you're new so for my bills Okay, so car loan came out as expected. Auto subscriptions was below what I expected it to be. I've been trying to like cancel auto subscriptions that I feel is unnecessary. So that's a good thing that auto subscriptions for April was down. Trash and recycling came out as planned. YMCA um, pretty much came out as planned. Auto insurance came out as planned, and then pest control came out as planned. So total for bills was $1,025.27. My total income subtract my total for bills meant that I was left with $654.73. Okay, so this is where it gets hairy. I budgeted $300 for groceries in April and when I saw how much I spent I was blown away actually I also want to show you guys this if you've seen my videos before you know that I track my spending so I, I had a paper pencil um, tracking but I created this here this tab here April spending I have like my date where or who I spent that money on and then categories I made this drop down where I can select you know what all the categories are total and then a section for notes. So this check mark I just put here because once I account for it in my budget, then I check it off. And then I put totals on this side. And then I just made a pie graph just to like have a visual representation like all in one place. So I spent close to 30% of my groceries. Okay, let's go back to my budget. <sighs> groceries was horrendous absolutely absolutely horrendous okay let's see what we did look at this guys 
I budgeted $300 for groceries um, and I actually spent $839.34. Isn't that crazy? Now, I will say what I think happened is because I mainly go to Walmart because you can just get everything there. So I feel like what happened was I picked up a lot of household items and if you saw my previous videos, you know that just to make it easier on myself, I decided not to split up the category between groceries and household because when I shop for groceries, I shop for household and I just to make it easier, I don't want to have to go through the receipt and be like, oh, this was household, this was household, this was household and put it separate. So I feel like a lot of this budget was because we did need a lot of household items in April um, because I don't, I mean, we're a family of three. We did not spend, I know we did not spend over $800 on groceries in April. So there's that. Fuel, I did good. Um, $38.24. Now, we live in a really small town, so any school that I substitute at is like, no, like the furthest one I would say is no more than 10 minutes away. So, fuel, I, I really don't spend a lot in fuel un unless for some reason I have like medical appointments or something in the larger town, which is about 30 minutes away. Oh, this was another one, eating out. Yeah, we ate out a lot. Mm. Okay, Mila. Hmm, Mila, 263.94. Oh, I know what that was. So Mila um, has asked to take some summer classes. It's a week-long theater camp. She wanted to do that. And then she did cheerleading for the first time last school year and she absolutely loved it she's 12 so it was sixth grade cheerleading middle school super low-key but she did want to improve and learn to do more things so she asked to do i think beginner acrobatics to help teach her how to do some flips and just like overall flexibility flips like stuff she could use for cheerleading next year oh and she also asked to go back to voice lessons so when we were when she was younger i want to say i want to say kindergarten first grade i had put her in voice lessons just because she loved to sing like she just loved to sing um and she loved it but then um things happened I had to move overseas due to my job and I couldn't take her with me so she ended up living with her dad for a year and during that time she kind of just lost interest in singing um so when I got her back after that year was over you know I had tried to encourage her to go back and take voice lessons but she didn't want to well I was shocked but she's been singing a lot more just on her own lately and she asked to take voice lessons again so I was, of course, I was happy about that and I just, you know, want to encourage her to continue to want to do things um, outside of school, extracurricular. So, with all that said, Mila's budget went up because I had to pre-register and this is not the full amount, like, this is just partial. So, um, if you saw my tax refund budget with me, I put aside money from that to, to help pay for her summer classes okay spending is me i budgeted 50 for me i spent 54 not bad oh pets i budgeted 30 and i spent 190 why oh because we had to take so we have two pets um benjamin he's our puppy he is a corgi jack russell mix he's actually sitting Hi baby, he's actually sitting um, in the room with me right now. So we have him and my daughter has a Quaker parrot. His name is Blue. We needed to take him, oh, to get his um, claws 
trimmed, filed down. We also just needed to give him like get him a checkup. Of course, because he's considered an exotic animal, uh, vet appointments are really expensive. So I budgeted 30 for the pets, not thinking that I would be taking blue to get all of that done. Okay, other. What is this? Let me go back to here. What is other? Okay, Amazon. Oh, DMV. I needed a new license and new registrations for two of my vehicles. Oh, that was other too. Taxes. I needed to do my taxes. Okay. So other, I had just budgeted 42. It was just some random number, I figured but I ended up spending $416.88 and mainly for taxes and the DMV. Okay, so total for my variables, I had originally planned to spend $632, which if you look here, would have left me. So after my bills, I had $632 left and then I completely budgeted all of that for variables and I would have had nothing left, right? So. In April, I wasn't planning to spend, like put anything extra towards my car loan or our home improvement loan. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I am, you could say on a journey to being completely debt free again, um, again, but we'll talk about that in a different video. So far, I'm trying to pay off, I'm focusing on my car loan, um, but I also do have a home improvement loan with my partner, Jess. So for April, I wasn't, I did, I just didn't have anything extra to put towards any of that debt. And I also didn't have anything extra to put towards any of my savings or sinking funds. So both of those in April, I just had nothing. Like I just, I just didn't have anything. So these two blocks are completely grayed out for that reason. Um, but look at this guys, I originally planned to spend 632 and I spent $2,003.87 which left me in the negatives $1,349.14 so remember in my last video when I was budgeting out my um tax refund money remember when I said I have over $7,000 that I could throw at that debt and then I said, at this point, this is just extra money. Should I throw it all towards the car loan? Yeah, that was really naive of me. So what I ended up having to do for my April budget is I needed to pull money from um, my tax refund. So let's just say tax refund here. Originally, I, I didn't budget anything for tax refund, but I was negative, what, 1,349. So I needed to pull 1,300 and I just did 50. So I pulled $1,350 from my tax refund budget um, to cover April expenses which left me with 86 cents down here where did i end up and i just left that here we can put it here in my regular savings that's just my buffer 86 cents so looking at my summary income because i pulled from my tax refund money um three thousand thirty dollars bills came out to $1,025.27. My variables, $2,003.87. I didn't put anything extra to debt in April and I didn't put anything towards sinking funds in April. I did have that buffer 86 cents left in my um, savings. So that is how I closed out my zero base budget for April. Okay guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you enjoy these type of budget with me videos and wanna see more, I will leave my playlist here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.